Everyone mm. knew me. I knew everyone. I had no problems with no one. Oh, God, if anything, so I chilled cool. with everyone on the estate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I've seen writers come there and, do you know what I mean? Like, What's the worst you've seen? <laughs> um, <laughs> Tell me. I had a couple know. foreign writers, innit? I think they were local. Right. And, bro, like, once that cage gets locked in it, like... Oh, <laughs> You're shit. getting eaten, do you know what I mean? Cameras, all of that. Killer, 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 Created. Killer Coward. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Coward podcast. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Why do you know about that? Yes, ladies, you have a Killer Coward podcast. What are you saying? Live and direct central London or central as you need to be. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Big shout out to everybody that follows this. It means the world, you know, to know that this is getting passed around, shared, and sharing is caring, and you know it. Everyone that's got the television app, you know what time it is. Home for street culture, uh, sport and art. We have a gentleman inside the place that, without question, I've been trying to get on for a little while. You know what I mean? And he's had no good reason to come on here. He's just donning it on the streets, but now he's onto something extra big and extra large, extra exhibited. Um, big shout out to Camden, Open Air Gallery and Finn and them, because uh, what we're about to witness is the landing. Our bot's inside the place. What are you saying? Hello, my bro. How are you? Man? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for having me on. Did the intro... That was right. That serves right, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, sounds good, bro. <laughs> I'm good at that. I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That your notoriety precedes you. It's actually... It's so refreshing that especially somebody that I've seen come up because you're one of the younger... In my mind, you're one of the younger yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, you know course, what I mean? Man. To of suddenly course. have like, this opportunity to do exhibition work. I mean, this seems, seems to me like a, a trajectory thing. Of course, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, man, it's just, it's got to that point where I've just developed and we're going on to bigger and better things, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. And I often think about it. I often think about it. How do write certain writers, how do they choose to? How do they get to take a jump? Because, you know, we're born with the same, you know, components in ourselves. Like, yeah, yeah. It's tenacity, isn't it? But then there's an extra drive, there's an extra thing, there's something else, that, that, a desire, you know what I mean? Um, to go from street to exhibition place. I think it is, bro. I think you just got to tap into it, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's be honest, bro. Most graffiti artists are all creative, isn't it? Yeah, big Do you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're creating free art on the streets of London, mm. whatever, worldwide, whatever you're doing. Mm. Why not tap in and try Mm. Work your skills and get paid off it, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's funny, we were just before we started, we were talking about Nathan Bowen. And. Yeah, shout know, out Nathan Bowen. Yeah, Bowne. shout out Nathan, because by. That's cold, man. Yeah, it's cold, right? Yeah, like, he's got, I like it, man. It's, it's different, innit? Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's unique to him. and just When energy. it's unique, bro, do you know what I mean? There's something yeah. about it. I like that shit, man. Yeah, for real. It's like an energy, and he gives. Um, I've, I only ever seen him be so generous and give things and but that's like in a graffiti writer's nature, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. It's it's probably more on the basis, bro. Like if someone fucks with my shit, I'm just like I'm like, yo, man, like, I'll fuck with that anyway. Do you know what I mean? So I'll be giving away shit for free. Mm -hmm. People have my brethren come to my studio and that. They'll be like, Abbots, that's cold. I'll be like, you know what? I ain't even using it, I ain't trying to sell it, have it. Mm -hmm. I just like that you like it, innit? Do you know what I mean? Put it to use. Yeah. So yeah. it's probably more that, man. Do you know what I mean? Giving. Giving. But of course, like, to you, to me out there and a lot of the heads that watch this avidly, we know the Abbots, TU, Untouchables, yeah, yeah. Um, the Young Gun. Tell us the story from the beginning, because this is all part of the, 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 the journey, isn't it? Of course, man. Where like, did it begin? What, my graffiti? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, start, start, let's, let's go real back. Go, it, go, go real back. back. Let's go go real proper. Back. Yeah, come on. So, um, bro, I grew up in northwest London, innit? To be precise, like Kilburn. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Kilburn's quite a big place, all different sides of Kilburn, South Kilburn, North Kilburn, Rowley Way, all these kind mm. of places. When I first when I first was on the street, like graphing and that, my f it started from a young age, and I was only about 10, 11 when I started getting into graffiti. <laughs> it starts different for everyone. For me, it was I had friends in a different estate in Kilburn. One of my best mates, Ryan, shout out Ryan. 
Is that right? <laughs> My guy. He does it right now. He's doing his thing. He's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Onto big and better things. Yeah. But he's come to me. He's like, yo, like, you need a little tag. You need a... I'm like, why? He's like, yo, everyone on my estate's graffiti, innit? This is what we do, innit? So he's got his little tag. And he's like, he's, I'm like, yo, like, I didn't understand it at first. You know what I mean? Like, why are you doing this on the <laughs> wall and that? But once I'd done it, man, it was just like, I think I used to write, I used to write Twix when I was a kid. That's what I yeah. used to write, innit? For like two, three years. Double barrel. Yeah, man. man. So um, I started doing it. But then it kind of grabbed me, innit? Do you know what I mean? With graffiti, it's like, okay, cool, I'm doing this. But once I started to do it more and more, I just wanted to know everything about it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you get real, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went through with that. Was writing that for years, man. And do you know what it is? It was there. Mm. So I used to write Twix, innit? Mm. That's how it started. Mm. But I chilled on the Roly Way estate. That's in, if you lot don't know, it's in mm, Kilburn, isn't it? Right. right. Everyone should Some know. TU territory. Yeah, that's like, that's where the TU boys really yeah. started. I think that's where it did start, mm-hmm. man. So um, I grew up there, innit? And inside Rowley Way, there's like a legal graffiti football pitch, innit? Do you know what I mean? Like, this is like a shrine for graffiti, bro. Yeah? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, getting this. You know how, like, nowadays you see a legal spot? Mm. Shit gets painted in two, three days and your shit's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place, I swear to God, I see dietism pieces that had been there for like eight, nine years. Well, even stuff. now? No, nah, not now. I was going to say. Back then, though, this yeah. is the reason why no one could paint, though, is like, you're getting jacked, bro. Like, you can't just roll into Roly Way and start piecing in the middle of the pitch. Like, Yo, that is... Di- can we just stick on Roly Way for a second here? So yeah. you're telling me, is it still here, this Hall of Fame? What's that? It, yeah, yeah, bro. Roly Way well, pitch, Let's talk it? about this. Let's talk about this yeah, yeah, because yeah, this course. is some new conversations here. For the, so what? Th- th- it was really that noted as like, yo, you can't go, you can't just go and paint. Nah, you couldn't just roll up. It. I probably was, I swear to God, I was probably the only person really painting that place for years, innit? Really? But I was a local kid, innit? Everyone mm. knew me. I knew everyone. I had no problems with no one. Oh, God, if anything, so I chilled with everyone on the estate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I've seen writers come there. And do you know what I mean? Like, what's the worst you've seen? <laughs> um, <laughs> Tell me. I had a couple know. foreign writers, innit? I think they were local. Right. And bro, like, once that cage gets locked in it, like, oh, <laughs> you're shit. getting eaten, do you know what I mean? Cameras, all of that. But that's nothing to do with me. I've seen it, do you know what I mean? But like, how often did you ever see that? Uh, I can't, I did, not really, I don't really like, I didn't really think of it like that. Like, growing oh, on there, you see shit. madness every day, innit? Yeah, you know I guess I mean? it's so part of the course. That's literally a minor, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that kind of place. I guess so. like, you know what I mean? Man, grew up in yeah. ends, innit, bro? That's see, what, that's I told what, you we're dealing the real deal here. <laughs> Come on. Do you know what I mean? But, um, Amazing. Love it. So from there, um, I moved on to, I had to change my tag. How it came to come in Abbott's was, I was young and... I was getting, I got a letter through the post. Now, I'm only like 12 at these times. I got mm. a letter through the post and it was addressed to me, but I'm my mum. Oh, and it was like, yo, like, mm. me thinking I'm getting away with all this graffiti I'm doing in the area, like smashing it. Like, mm. it's like, okay, your son's cave is, I think it was like 10 or 15,000 pounds worth of damage in the area, <sighs> innit? And it was like, yo, like, he's so young, we don't want to prosecute. Like, I think it had been my mum had probably only got prosecuted. You know what I mean? I don't know, innit? Like, wow. at that time. But I was so engaged in this graffiti that I wasn't giving it up. Obviously, I was pissed because, you know, like, oh, I've done all this work. I don't want to change my tag. I don't want to do this. So when was it? Give me a date on this. So this was, you were 12, 13. So how, how long probably, ago? Probably like 2003. Yo, so that's prime time, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, I started when I was young. Yeah. It wasn't like I started graffiti. You know, you get these guys that have started graffiti in their later years. Mm. Like, I was just... But this was like, this was ATG era. Yeah, right? ATG, come on. They, they were just... Uh, and that's obviously where, that's the area I'm from, innit? These yeah. men smash North yeah, West, yeah, innit? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Rooftop Kings and All that. Day. Big, you know big I mean? shout out to Panic. To be honest, Asset Asset. is probably one of my favourite writers yeah, ever. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like cold. These are influences for you. Yeah, of course, bro. Like, these guys done stuff that you don't really even see anymore happen in it you, do you don't know what see I mean? anymore you don't see it no more in no. it do you know what i mean like but the, i feel like for me i feel like graffiti is a little bit more watered down than it used to be in it do you know what i mean not in the sense of like bro there's cold writers and that but like there used to be so much damage getting done in it do you know what i mean like elaborate on that bro like how many active crews that there used to be in it like crews yeah, yeah do you know what i mean like 
I don't know, man. It's just like so. They were, when I just remember as a kid, maybe it's because shit's getting buffed so much now. That's what I think that's probably what. Do you know what I mean? But you don't like, have a chance, is it? Don't you don't have a chance. You have a piece that's gone a week later. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. happens, isn't it? But um, yeah, man. So obviously, going back to the spot where man got the letter through the post and that, <clears> it was like, okay, I need to get a new tag. But at this point, I'm old enough to realize that yo, like, I need a unique word because mm. you know, like. You get them bait words and you can find out down the line three other men write the same tag. Plus also, this was the age of Google. So if you Google that shit, if you Google Abbots, say no one got Abbots. You know <laughs> what I mean? So you fortunate there, you nailed that. Now with me, it was, um, I'll be honest, I was rattling my mind, trying different things and it weren't happening. I come past a road. It was like Abbots Road, something like that. What? Do you know what I mean? It was like oh, that. Yeah, it, was, it, was like, it was only like A. It wasn't nothing major. It, just it like... was nothing major, innit? But it was like A, B, B, O, T, T, S or something like that. And I was like, okay, I like that. But let's dim it down a little bit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Let's turn it into something smaller. It's quite smooth, actually, if you were to tag it quick, you know. Oh, yeah, it's cool, man. I, I, I like my reach, innit? Yeah, it's nice. It That's it's, a smooth one, innit? It's, it's going for me, man. But it's, it takes practice, innit, bro? You can't just... Yeah. Everyone develops, innit? Yeah, yeah, Wasn't yeah. so happy with it at first, but you keep working at it. You get better at it and eventually... You're happy with what you're doing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Although, then when I do see your tag, I do. There, you is like um. Now, when I think about that era, like Teach was doing a whole different kind of thing by then, right? Yeah, yeah. He was moving fast, and and then of course, yeah, cold, and then of course, like you had ATG that were, and there was just different angles, different styles that were coming out of the shapes of the letters. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that in your yeah, in yeah. your tag. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. Yeah, like I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah it's I'm just an influence. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you get influence from everyone, innit, man? Mm. So it's... how widespread did it go for you? Like uh, the moment you got to a box, like, <laughs> is it like? So, them ages there, I was only young, man. But then, like when I was younger, I feel like every kid used to graph. I don't think that's the case anymore, innit? Like I don't see like we'd be twenty kids and we'd all write, innit? Mm, Do you know what mm, I mean? Man, I know what you mean. And now I don't. I don't know if it is. I'm not in tune, innit? But like. But like, I had my friends in the ends that I chill with that didn't really understand graffiti. Mm. Like, how the hell are you doing a crime that don't pay? Mm. And you, do you know what I mean? Like, in their mind, that's, they, they, that, that's yeah. how they see it. They don't understand the other thing. But then I've got my friends that are literally addicted to this. Like I am. You know yeah. what I mean? But I feel like you have to be in graffiti to understand it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can get an understanding, but until you do it, like you'll never really understand like what it means, isn't it? Mm. Do, you, do you know what I mean? It's I like you got to. Like there's a hunger to do it, do you know what I mean? There's a hunger and then and also and why do you think so many people still do it after yeah. all these years, isn't it? Like there's a hunger in you to do there's it. There's a code of conduct as well. Of course. There's there's rules to it, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then um so I had my group friends out the area we used to paint with. Do you know what I mean? Like Northwest is basically my playground, isn't it, when I was mm. growing up. That's kind of where we was all mm. the time. With on a Saturday we'd link up. Mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We used to Head to Brixton. That was where I used to get the paint from, innit? That was a big trip. You had to have a deep sea divers. Oh, yeah, watch it's not like now. You can just go online and order your shit, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? like, yeah, no, but you mean, yeah, you'd go to um, Brixton and Brixton to Market, Market. innit? Bro, yeah, un undisputed one of the oh, bro. hardcore places to get paint, wasn't it? Bro, I'll be honest, bro. I'll be honest. Like, half the writers probably wouldn't paint now if that is how, they, how yeah. it was, bro. That was a dangerous place Yo, to go to get your so paint. That's true, ain't it? Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, man. I went there the other day with my girl. We got some food. But I see people eating a cheese board in Brixton Market. Yeah, no. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I couldn't even believe it, bro. I was like, bro, do you know how... Like, this place used to be mad. Yeah, no one wants to see stuff dangerous, but we don't want to see gentrification. That's the, that's yeah, the problem. It's, it's, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, I feel like the gentrification is stealing the culture a little yeah. bit. Do you know what I mean? You like, could never have a... Well, it would be a real dead, trendy graffiti shop if they had that there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably paying, like, six pound a tin and that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's not nah, man. It's, yeah, <laughs> just cycling I mean? up with roller skates yeah, and shit. Nah, it's, um, no, nah, but when I seen that, I was shocked, man. Yeah. And I hadn't been there for like 15 years. Mm -mm. So when I seen it, I was like, oh, wow, man, shit has changed up here, boy. Yeah. But that's like everywhere in London. You're seeing it, everything gradually change, isn't it? And I'm, 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 I'm for it to a point, it's when it doesn't serve the people that have cultivated and created the community. That's the problem, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. And when you go back to like, you're growing up, your upbringing, yeah. it's like, as much as, all right, you're getting fucked if you go into that graph hall of fame over yeah, there, yeah. don't you? You're getting locked in. But at least there's some sort of policing. At least there's some sort of consideration to the community of some, you know, you went and painted because you're from the area. Yeah. Do but as, I, 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 see with me, I just loved it. I just done it, innit? Mm. I was solo sometimes or I had my friends. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I just, 
when you graffiti, bro, it starts to just become part of your DNA, innit? Do you mm. know what I mean? It's like second nature, bro. Like, I feel you. Like, even I got on the training, I ain't been on the train in time. I still found myself looking out the window to see what I could see. Do you <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> it's yeah. just, it's, it's part of you, innit? Like, mm. my girl's like, what are you doing? Mm. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, mean, what are you doing? Like, I'm just like, yo, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. out there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out people like Enigma. All day. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, Alex, is it free? What? Do you know, I can't yeah. remember the thing. Pixie also, big shout like, Pixie doing a thing too. When we were younger, the only way we were seeing graph is if we got on the train yeah. and went looking for it. Yeah. Now you've got people that are documenting it. Yeah. Like, this is history here, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're talking. We're shout, out their, shout out their, their portfolios, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, because there's a lot of work there, isn't it? Yeah, Do you know man. what I mean? And then and there's so much. I mean, again, look, big shout out to new schools, you know, like Ling, big shout out to um, Izzy, all okay. the SL boys, like, like yeah. all these people that are really, you know, they're moving the scene in the community and but also like sacred letters in them they're doing like some mad like things at the moment okay cool. and it's just i think it's really healthy especially when you get to a certain level and the transition is exhibition the transition is characters color that's the know. thing isn't it you get to a point where like you just want to channel your creativity in a different way in it do you know what i mean what do you think was the moment where you where you sat, t- sat down with yourself, and you probably didn't sit down, you probably, yeah. you probably just felt so natural to do it. But that moment where you were just like, right, right I've done my fair share of illegal stuff, I've done yeah. my running around, I've done stuff like that. Because to a lot of people, they'll, you know, they'll keep doing that, and that's fucking great. Yeah, yeah of course, man. It, it, it works for some people, yeah. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? When did, when, did it, when did you suddenly start thinking, I'm going to start making steps? To transition. Kind of. What, like, with me, I've always liked doing characters. Do you know what I mean? Like, even from when I was young, pull out pictures and like, I've been doing characters from like 2006, mm. 2007. Mm. Even when I was younger, I had a face I tried. Do you know what I mean? So I've always had that in tune with me to do it, innit? Mm. The ball dropped, I think it was uh, properly to really start going for it was just before the first lock. Nah, what am I talking about? Maybe a year before the first lockdown. You know how yeah, I'm yeah. timing things on the lockdown now? Yeah, I know, yeah, exactly. We're in this little it. trance, yeah, innit? Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? But um, I was, so I'm like, yo, like, getting canvases off my own accord and going yard and just trying little things, innit? I've always been into nostalgic cartoons. So mm-hmm. I'm like, cool. I'm always drawing like nostalgic cartoons, but having like a modern twist on it or like a little money addicted kind of mm-hmm. twist to it. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of money art, cool art stuff, innit? Yeah, I'm the money art. The NFT dropped, styles. Like the ball dropped. I was just like, you know what? I'm good at this. Let me try run with something, innit? Mm. Like, I've always got, I feel like I need to have a purpose in it, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? So like the grafting, but trying to sway over to do more arty stuff. I still mm. do graft, innit? It is what it is, but. Oh yeah, cool. So I mean, we we'll like, from that. For me, innit? Like I was doing stuff, just working on pieces, put it on the gram. Yo, you selling that? I'm like, I didn't even think of it like that. I didn't mm. even think to sell it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was just like, yo. Okay. Yeah, how much how, how much you wanna pay for that? Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then it was like this became a regular occurrence, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying yeah. like making loads of money off it. No, but just just giving a bit to what you But making. it was more for me, it was like, oh shit, people actually like this, isn't it? Do you like they like this thing I'm yeah, doing? Yeah, like, like an imposter syndrome of like, or was it were you more, you know, confident than that? You kind of knew yeah, I kinda yeah. I kinda knew I could sell my shit, innit? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But like when people actually inquired but it's not like people i know it's different people outside my circles and that do you know what i mean and then you're like okay this is cool man that is cool do you know what i mean like people are liking it people are fucking with my shit so i'm really interested in this because there is certain people that would go out their way to try and sell something and it's so so much but then maybe that's an area which is kind of greater than maybe that it's just a self-confidence thing because some of people i often like i mean there's some writers out there that i think you should be selling like now yeah, now yeah. yeah, big shout out to bees. I give that bees is a good okay, example. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, yo, like, bro, like, and he does, cold, he does cold yeah. stuff in it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, and I know he does because we sell map con stuff. So, oh, he's been he's been selling the maps, isn't it? Yeah, that's, see, that's a good thing in graph, isn't it? Like, yeah, people can make their change from doing a couple of maps, and yeah, that, isn't it? And it's a piece of history you get to keep, isn't it? Yeah, I like the whole maps thing, man. It's cool, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. and and often it it makes it hard for people to have the confidence or at least the the foresight to know how to do it because they feel like it's it's a bit of a kind of sales pitch that they aren't prepared to do isn't it i think it's people just don't understand that there is people out there that want to buy your stuff mm. not everyone's capable of what you can do you know like mm. you're in a graph community there's bare people that can graph everyone in this community can do what mm. they can do 
But outside of it, no one knows how to do this. So yeah, it's true. They're very intrigued by it, innit? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Someone be like, oh, I would really love this piece in my house. Or, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, there's a, yeah. I always see it. There's bear writers, I think, yo, you lot can make money, man. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? If you transition in a different way. Yeah. But I don't know, innit? Like, I've not really tried to sell graft, though, innit? It's not really, that's, that's separate it's a different to me. Thing, innit? It's different for me, innit? Graffiti's over there. The art stuff's over here, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? How have, you, have you compartmentalized that in your head? It's with graffiti, it's the thrill, innit? Mm. I think that's why we do it as well, innit? It's mm. fun, it's thrill. Like, you don't get no brownie points for it, do you know what I mean? It mm. is what it is. You do it because you like doing it. Mm. The art thing is now becoming that for me, innit? But like, I'm not surrounded by a hundred artists that do the same thing. I'm doing it off my own back, mm. do you know what I mean? I enjoy it. And I'm just creative, bro. If I have an idea in my head, I have to do it, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I can't stop until I do it, innit? Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. And then before you know it, that idea turns into five ideas because I want to do a twist on these things. And then before you know it, you're kind of developing a style of art that you do, mm -hmm. innit? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, you do. You're developing it. When I see your stuff, like, and now I'm moving on to the art. This is the art <laughs> transition I'm going through here. Like, when I see your stuff, you have a good mixed medium of, yeah, you've got the classic... Uh... Well, first of all, let's get into the cartoons. Because, all right, you, you know, big shout out to Aztec, big shout out to Score, big shout out to all these people that have done their characters. That's how kind of, it, it's always been in the graffiti DNA. You've chosen certain characters, like you say, or of a throwback nature that have a certain, um, uh, like you, get, you get DC comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Asterix comics. Yeah, yeah. You get Ren and Stimpy. They all have certain, certain types of traits in the, 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 the cartoon style. Yeah, yeah. You, yours is like the, the other side of Warner Brothers. It's that Acme kind of Animaniacs. Yeah, kind of. it's kind of like I'm going for the thing that's not so popular, yeah. but everyone can relate to it because everyone right. watched it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like, I'm not going for the most famous cartoon. No. Nah. How many Mickey Mouse ca characters have you seen? 100%. Done? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 I do agree. So, like, let me start with, like, say, for Pinky, I do Pinky a lot, innit? Mm. Pinky from Pinky in the Brain. Mm, yeah, yeah. Sick. What, what I've tried to do with Pinky is, is now. Like growing up, man, man was obsessed with fifty pound notes, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, we all like we see fifties. You see fifties, like, yo, man's rich. Man's mm. got a wad of fifties. Yeah, exactly. And it, the only difference, <laughs> they, they, you can't you can't get rid of them for yeah, love. Yeah, do you know what I mean? They don't know if they're fake or something, <laughs> yeah, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um, what is a pinky? A pinky's a fifty pound note. Oh, and then pinky is the mouse, isn't it? And now I've made him this money obsessed pinky, innit? it? Do you know what I mean? <sighs> You have just blown my mind. Do you That's know what I mean? so cold. Do you know what I mean? Like the creative twist on it, innit? To my... Love it. Do you get it now, innit? I get a lot it. of people don't understand it when I but when I say it to them, they're like, oh shit. I see what you mean, innit? Dude, dude, <laughs> dude, you've just done me in. What a wicked and that's concept. So, it's kind of a British twist to it, innit? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. like the British people got you know what a pinky note is, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's the that's the most famous nickname for the fifty pound yeah. note, isn't it? Do yeah, you know I think what I mean? it's just absolutely done me in. That's so sick. Yeah, do you know what I mean? What's the deal with um, the the aesthetic of it? Because you you have this like electronic kind of look to it. It almost looks like it's been put through like an old v VCR recorder, and then oh, there's okay. other bits that are popping, and then okay. So what what are you going back to? Maybe like the posters and stuff. like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, posters for instance. I mean, okay, I've, yeah. yeah, like with the posters and that, I'll like obviously when I'm editing them, digitally editing mm. it and that. I might do that trippy kind of look to it. Mm. You know, like when you're like blurring your eyes, it looks like it's like, mm. I don't know, like an LSD trip looking thing. Do you know what I mean? You get yeah. what I mean? That's kind of like the look yeah. of uh, the Benny the Baller. Mm. Yeah. The Benny the Baller posters I was doing. Mm. Like, so when you look at it, it's kind of like trippy looking. But then when I do the art, I might make it look so sharp that it almost looks like it's been done on a computer. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll do stuff very sharply, innit? Yeah, you're, you're real tight on Yeah, detail. I can do lines very, like, I try to make, I'm kind of, a, to a, I'm a perfectionist in certain ways, innit? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it will stress me out if I don't have it exactly how I want it to look, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been privy to some of the pieces as they've been slowly, you know, appearing in the times I've gone into Camden Open Air because I'm doing some bits and bobs in there. Oh, you went into the gallery, yeah? Yeah, just passing through and I'm just like, what the, you, just this huge, you know, yeah. mouse in a massive... Oh, what, in the big frame? Bro, yeah, yeah. yeah, that piece is cold, man. That is yeah. cold. I seen it in there, actually, the other day. It was hanging in there, man. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, we're talking in past tense. You can go and check this out now. You yeah, know? yeah. We, we, we're dropping it bang on, so yeah. it's happening right now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, man. 
got yeah the piece is in there as we speak to be mm, fair yeah but as you said at the end of the month got more more madness coming there yeah to keep on rolling and keep on rolling isn't it man <laughs> what's the feeling of having your stuff in an exhibition to me it's like this shit's working do you know what I mean mm. like the artist kind of thing like I've never really cared about selling stuff mm. like it isn't always for me isn't it but like mm. But like when I walked into the gallery and see my piece hanging, I was like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is gallery level work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It blows. I it... think that's when it goes from my head from being, I do art as a hobby to like, okay, I'm like an artist, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't like, I don't like yeah. to label myself anything because it kind of boxes you in sometimes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, you can say I'm an artist, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. He was man. an artist before the exhibition. Yeah, place. of course, man. But you know, as graffiti writers and that, we don't really see it as that, innit? Do you know what I mean? Perhaps. Not always, innit? We don't, yeah. I don't, I've never labeled myself really anything, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? I write. Mm. Do you, yeah, do you but know what you mean? knew you, you wanted more. Like I just... knew I wanted more. That's basically what it is, bro. I knew I wanted more. I wanted to make something of this. Yeah. So I took a different avenue to try. Yeah. It's still early days, bro. See what I mean? It's only early, but we're making some big moves already. If you were to have come on this podcast, the yeah. time I wanted you to about, and with, by the way, I didn't, yeah. I didn't ask because yeah, you know yeah. you were doing your yeah, thing, yeah. but it was something that was you know you were in the you were in the books of like yeah, yeah get that Abbott's rod, put it in the real water, give it a shake, give it something you want to come on kind of thing. It was yeah. there, it was really ready yeah. to go. And um, uh, if I had done that, I think we wouldn't be having such a dynamic conversation. I'm not saying graffiti has got so much dynamism; it's more. This is becoming, particularly for your generation, a very natural transition. And very similarly to the guys that are getting their flowers, especially on this show for me personally, that are of an age that never got the opportunity to even be exhibited. Like, I think it's fucking great that you are like the, some of the first of the Trying newer generation so. that are doing this yeah, exhibition course, thing. Yeah, like course, Nathan yeah. as well, hold tight, Nathan. Like, yeah, I, went, I, I'm passed by, I passed by a show mm. the other day. I don't say that I don't... Mm. One message, I just thought, you know what, let me go in. I bought one of his pieces, to be fair, man. That's cool. They're cool, innit? He had this yeah. big black book. I rated it still. He had a big black book of, like, just original drawings. They were, like, £70, and I was mm. like, come on, you got to support the thing, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, bro, like, there is certain artists, if they'd done a gallery show... You'd be there. Oh. Of course, bro. Imagine Zombie. Yeah. All right, give me your... Give me your yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your free ultimate um, exhibition artist where you're just like, yo, I would just be there and I wouldn't know where to put my money. With like graffiti, yeah, zombie all day, on a character basis. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like his characters are so like. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Probably the most famous and all easily. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, <coughs> and I'm talking about people that don't normally do exhibitions. This, it, the, the biggest wish list, top three. What would it be? It would be zombie. Um, I know Panic does his thing, mm. but imagine ATG as a collective <gasps> and bringing some. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cold, cold. isn't it? Cold. Do you know what I mean? And uh, a third one. Yeah. That'd be me just... Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't even know who to think, man. Just thinking off the top of my head. Um, I have to think about that one still, man. Who would you think? Comment below. Tell us who you think. Top yeah, three. I would argue... I would argue Force... Force would be cold. I see he's got some stuff in uh, yeah. the graphics gallery, though. Ah, yes, true. So you don't yeah. count. Big shout, Force. Yeah. Um, mm, oh, um, I think I do. I think bees. Bees. You like bees and stuff, I isn't it? Bees is cold, bees. man. Bees is cold. So I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. He's just just on it. I, I was probably just doing it on the basis of like all time history for everything I see. Do you know, like growing yeah, up, true, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I'm seeing it as the base of like from a young age, I'm seeing zombies characters and zombies still going strong. Yeah, it's true. Like, and, if bro, you, like, yeah. and if you go there, I would say probably Grand or Drax. Like even that the other day, zombie, what did he drop there? That Palace collab. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When I seen that, I was like, wow, man, this is sick. Do Game you know I mean? changing stuff. Like, who's another writer, man? I think, what about, what about if Drax did it? Drax, bro, like, He's from the beginning. From super the knowledge, isn't it, man? Yeah. I'll be reading his posts on mm. the gram sometimes. I'm <laughs> super, super stories there, man. Yo! You know I mean? Yeah, totally. Um, I, yeah, that would be cold. That would be cold, wouldn't it? But like, even with the 
the Coag Gallery. They done the shutters, mm. didn't they? Did you go to the shutters? Yeah, I did. It was cold, man. Yeah, it was so sick. So like, kind of had an element of like the graffiti culture in a, yeah. in a gallery, innit? And you know what was really sick is there was something about diet being there. Bro, and it made, that is probably it, you know? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I think diet, you've just named Yo, it, you know what? Diet. Come on, man. Because now when I think of the shutter, I'm like, yo, that looked so cool. Do you know what I love about diet shit, yeah? Bro, this guy is dropping characters with everything I see recently, isn't it? Like, and it's always yeah. like a new character. Yeah. And he's always got like a, like a, like a speech bubble coming out of it. Totally. Like, happy birthday to this person. Yeah. Or, nah, man, diet's cold, man. Look. Bro, what a rich history in graffiti, my man has. I've seen, I've seen characters recently where the, the, the outline is as thin as you would see on a comic page and the white he's filled in with yeah. looks like the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just bonkers. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, and I, I've seen, you know what? I've seen him peace not that long ago. Wow. And um, he does it quick, man. He's, he's very rapid. You know what I mean? He knows what he's doing, isn't it? You know when it's like second nature, isn't it? That's what everyone I mean? says, yeah, he's quick. He's quick, man. He's sick. No, mm. he's, yeah, I think it's got to be diet still. Yeah, That'd I think it's cool, diet. Man. That would be cool, man. I think uh, t- 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 so the top three, zombie, diet, and um, ATG. Info. Yeah, that's a good dynamic of yeah, people. Man. It's like quite a mix as well, isn't it? Yeah, that works. I mean? Yeah, man. That would look cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is... But when I say ATG, I mean like all the different the, writers, isn't it? Like you bring it back to Snore. Yes. Um, Yo, wasn't Snore the fucking nuts? Yeah, Snore was cold, man. I like, <laughs> that's the thing, I liked all that kind of stuff, innit? Do you know what I mean? Um, the monkey face, is it Mighty Mo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his stuff was cold, man. Yeah, I he's cold, that. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, but that's the kind of era I grew up in. I was in mm. Northwest, so like, I couldn't really speak on writers in South. Mm. But like, what I seen in like my backyard was mm. all these writers, innit? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there were, yeah, there was that. There was NT and Arrow in them, and like, they were doing stuff south stuff, weren't they? Yeah. And uh, yeah, Arrow's done exi- exhibition work as well. Yeah. Who was the other crew that um, Town was in? Town and Vi- RT. RT. They yeah. were another one of the Town era, and Vibe, was it? Yeah. yeah. The vibes, the vibes stuff's cold, <gasps> isn't it? So is Town, man. Oy. But I remember the RT stuff. Big, bold, chrome letters, isn't it? Thick, big, bold. Yeah. Man, that era. When you think about RT and ATG, and the way, do you remember when they did yeah. that um, blockbuster? Yeah, yeah. Yo. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean when I used to say, when I was saying. I feel like so much more was going on, mm-hmm. but I think less was getting buffed. And I guess I don't know, innit? Yeah. But at the same time, I was a kid getting on the train. I'm seeing shit, innit? Now mm. drive everywhere. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like I only see road plots, innit? Like, bro, like let's be honest. So many. That's what mm. I see. Shutters. I think shutters have become a massive thing. I think it will be a movement. Yeah, I feel like shutters, like, yeah. you see man rolling, you see man painting shutters at like three in the morning with a high vis on yeah. and the feds don't even stop you, no, innit? No, no. Do you know what I mean? No, it's not just, at all. It's just like, oh, well, they told me, the shop told me it's to do It's a movement. It. It's Check so them in the morning, they'll yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah, man. And also, you know, here's the other thing, like a lot of shutters have been dogged for years and you go in there and you say, oh, you're like, yo, can I just kn- knock out something like that? A lot of people say, yeah. Yeah, mate, you just bring in a little portfolio so I can do this. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? There's a, there's a scrapbook of What's the worst they're going to say? Yeah. No, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> cool, man. Interestingly, that everyone from your era that you're talking about um, have at some point contributed to an exhibition or have done their own exhibitions. Yeah. So it's really interesting that the route you've gone down actually is, 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 a, is a natural progression of the, the era that you came up through. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, cool. I kind of yeah. like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, these are all older writers than me, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So looking up at, do you know what I mean? Mm. Take your hats off to certain people, isn't it? Mm. Is your pleasure to do the outlines bang on like uh, real str- clinically in line and in right? Is this a thing? Is this, what, a, is this with a, everything I do? Yeah, is this an OCD thing? <laughs> I think, <laughs> 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 yeah, probably a little bit, you know. Yeah, a little bit OCD with it. This is yeah, where your I mean, missus is watching and kind of like... <laughs> yeah, she'll yeah, relate. She'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah definitely yeah, has. Yeah, so. yeah totally. Um, with me, kind of picture perfect, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't Bang try on! To, yeah, but I don't try to do yeah. like... I'm not like a, I'm not saying I'm an artist where I'll be like, okay, send me a picture of your missus. I'm going to draw it like a portrait yeah, artist. Yeah. I'm not trying to do that. If that's played out, I'm trying to stay in my, that, I'm trying to stay in my avenue, isn't yeah. it? I'm trying to make cool, relatable art mm. with the nostalgic cartoons like... Everyone our age group knows it. Young mm. kids know it. Mm. So does the older generation know mm. it. So it kind of, like, even when I was doing a, I was doing a shutter for the Coag Gallery in Camden, an old guy, he must have been about, like, 80 years old, walked past. He's like, 
they call me Top Cat because I was in a Top Cat face. And I was like, why do they call you Top Cat? He's like, that's been my nickname for years, isn't it? And I was like, that's when I realised, I was like, oh shit, like it actually calls out to people that mm. are not just yeah. mine's age group, isn't it? I feel that. Do you know what I mean? So mm. like, that's why I like the nostalgia. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. It's like, you know, when you get a, you got an aftershave, you smell, you ain't smelled it in years. You're like, whoa, that took me back 10 years. Oh, you know I, I mean? love like, you said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? This whole thing's a sensory thing. Yeah. Like when I think about even the paint and spraying, it's like there's a sensory explosion there. When you're looking at someone's piece and you can smell that it's real paint. There's a whole, whole lot. I mean, it's all yeah, romantic, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> you, know what I mean? you know how it is, bro. You spend a, smell a certain brand of paint you ain't yeah, using yeah. like 10 years. You smell it, you're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that, man. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't smart that in a while. Uh, we're old romantic fools. <laughs> you, know? you know what I mean? Um, I, I think I, I'd like to recommend something to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, some of the older older heads will recognise this name when I say the words banana splits. Okay, what's that? If you go on YouTube, Hanna Barbera, I think it was Hanna Barbera. Before they got into the Flintstones, well, they'd done Flintstones. They were getting into this other cartoon. I'm almost certain it was Hanna Barbera. But this was like real costume made up before um, Teletubbies. Way before that, there were these guys. Okay, yeah. Why don't you check out the sets that they were... Check it from. out, man. I'm going to show you after, Yeah, yeah show me after. Because yeah. you'll see this and be like, yo, the colour schemes, the way it's displayed on the wall. Like, when you were talking about cartoons, I thought to myself, yeah, I've got to show my guy this because yeah. I think he's going to really bug out when he's... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's some madness. Yeah, of course. So the future is the exhibition. It's live right now. Abbott's TU tells you. Well, tell us all about it. Where, where can they go right now and check it out? So basically the gallery is in, is in Camden. It's a place called Camden Open Air Gallery. And basically, oh yeah, I'm their first solo show. Mad. They hit me up and was like, do you want to take the slot for the first solo yeah, show for did. us? Yeah. And I was like, yo, why not? Was meant putting in mad work, you know mm. what I mean? Like a lot of behind the scenes. It's hard when you're doing loads of pieces and you can't post them, but mm. you want to share them with the world. Mm. But do you, think everything, do you think life stood still? Yeah, man. Yeah. And then, um, so the show is, is going to be running for four weeks. So it's from the 5th until the 5th of April. Okay. So you got a long, you got a lot of time to come down. Fifth of March to the fifth of April. I got a a one month slot. Do you know what I mean? How exciting! That's fucking wicked. Yeah, it's cool, man. Do you know what I mean? So definitely in it. Like, if you got a spare weekend or a spare evening, come down, man. Yeah, Coag, Camden Open Air Gallery on High Street. Big up Vin. Big up uh, PIC. Um, Zander and uh, and of course Sabre. All yeah, they had the show previous, man. Them guys went in. Their their show was good. The Camdemonium. Yeah, it was good, man. Yeah, it's good to see writers try. That's. We didn't even think of that, man. Mm. We didn't say it. We were saying like artists that have done the the gallery thing. Mm. Thinking that, man. They've done yeah. it. Like when you walk in, they've done their thing. Yeah, innit? they did. They did it good. It was good, man. I went to the open at night for it. It was cold, man. Me too. Was you there? Yeah. Yeah, probably see you. Yeah, it? yeah, probably <laughs> ballooning around. You know what it is? You know one of them ones? When you go into a room, there's bare people. You don't know everyone. I kind of just look yeah. at the art, kind of drift off. It. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what? Um, That piece, as you come in, I'll have to put the video up when, when I'm saying this. You walk into one of the two little entry yeah, halls of course, from the yeah, side yeah. of reception. That shutter that came down on the back of that. I think is that, is that is it Xander's? Yeah, it's all of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Are you talking about the shutter shutter? Yeah, yeah, yeah inside cold, that man. shutter, yeah. there's cold. Cold, isn't it, man? Yeah. So no. you're taking up the whole area within the space of the yeah, shutter. Yeah, I'm doing the whole. The whole thing is the whole thing. It's a lot, isn't it? How it much is work does that take? You must have been working on um, these. But your head must be everywhere. And I've, yeah, man. It is stressful, bro. But like. I love doing this, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? What kind of opportunity comes like that where you get to showcase your work in the borough of Camden where I was born and raised? Do you know what I mean? Like you know what I'm saying. It's it's a big thing, innit, man? Do you know what I mean? Then. Like it's a big milestone for me as an artist. Mm. This gets me serious, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm realizing, okay, there's dates, we need to get mm. work done, we need to bang it out to a high standard, do you know what I mean? So for the show, I've aimed to have twenty five. I've got one 25. piece one piece one piece left I'm working on in a couple of days. A couple of days and it'll be done. <laughs> Do you know wow. what I mean? There'll be loads of original prints. Yeah. Loads of different bits so and bobs, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of things, isn't it? And there's not all of it's exactly I'll leave you for to come and see. Yo, show, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's exciting. Yeah, man. yeah. You you manage your business till you get there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm proud of you, brother. And honestly, no, honestly bro, best of luck with it. This won't be the first. There'll be many to come, man. Yeah, bro, like. We're only getting started, isn't it? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Right. We're only getting started, man. We're only going to get bigger and better at everything we do, bro. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I've got inside the place. Thanks very oh much God. for passing through, my man. And good luck with it. Yo, you know what to do. Go check out the yeah. exhibition, all right? Yeah, um, big shout out to everybody that follows. You know what it is. Sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend, yeah? Do not sleep on this. I repeat, do not sleep on my, my repeat. I'm out like it was out of fashion. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. <laughs>
All right. Easy, people. Peace.